In this video, I'll show you how to install the iNav Configurator. Open up Google and type in iNav Configurator, and it will take you to GitHub on the iNav Flight iNav Configurator. Click the Clone or Download button. Click the Download Zip. iNav Configurator is an alternative to Clean Flight. It's a fork from Clean Flight. iNav utilizes the GPS a lot better than the Clean Flight Configurator. iNav, you can use Return to Home, you can use GPS Hold, you can even do missions in iNav. So once your iNav Configurator Zip is downloaded, extract this, open up Chrome. It requires Chrome, just like Clean Flight requires Chrome. It installs as an extension into Chrome. So open up Chrome and go to More Tools, Extensions, then click on Load Unpacked Extension. Go to where you downloaded it. Click on the directory that you downloaded. And there's iNav Configurator imported into your Chrome as an extension. Click on Apps, and you'll see iNav as one of your apps. I also was running Clean Flight before, but I didn't have any luck getting my GPS hold to work or return to home utilizing Clean Flight. I like to create a shortcut on the desktop, and that's pretty much all you have to do to install the iNav Configurator. You click Connect, and it is very, very similar to Clean Flight. But iNav Configurator is not listed on the Google Play like uh, Clean Flight is. I wish they would upload their software to Google Play so you can just install it straight from Google Play. But you can import it as an extension from the unzipped directory. But to flash the iNav firmware to your flight controller, you can either download the firmware and flash it locally or you can select the version of the flight controller you have. I have a NAS32. Click flash firmware. And it'll say programming successful. Unplug your flight controller from the USB cable. Plug it back in and click connect. And then to get started with iNav and setting it up, go to Google and type iNav wiki. And it will walk you through getting started, sensor calibration, uh, multi-rotor setup, PID setup, etc, etc, etc. This is how you load the configurator for iNav and then the firmware for iNav.